So, firstly, I just want to say thank you for everyone who's came on and um, decided to watch this video. The purpose of this video today is to see whether I can get in shadow installed on this X88 Max 4K 64GB Android box. So, I've had this kicking about now for about 12 months and um, I thought to myself, Do you know what, let's see if what it'd be like to run shadow on this. See if I can get a mouse and keyboard on, see if we could get um, a Xbox One pad with the USB and let's see if we can get all of this connected. So, let's we'll start off with this box. I've got the X88 Max box 4K 64GB. It's got a little memory card slot there. It's got a USB 3 port. It's got a USB 2 port. It's actually got a Type-C port on the back, um, HDMI, Ethernet, and the power slot. So that is the experiment today. The plan today is to see whether we can get it up and running on one of them. What I want to do is connect the 2.4 gigahertz, and that will run, hopefully, the keyboard and the mouse. Um, I've got a little tiny, some kind of TV, or I wouldn't even call it a display. Well, I've just, for the purposes of this video, wanted to get something small that I can just fit all on the table. And the idea is to install all that. We're going to do a little guide to see if it works and my findings. So um, stay tuned uh, and we'll see how we get on. Let's do this. Okay, right. So we've hooked the power cable up to it. I've also hooked the HDMI up to it. Not a big fan of these boxes, that's why I don't really use it. Now we're going to see whether the mouse and keyboard will actually work with this device. So that is plugged in, and I hate these remotes to be fair, but let's let's see if it powers up. Okay, let's have a little look. So, yep, yeah, we have power. Does the mouse and keyboard work? Oh, we have mouse. So that is a really good start. So let's just check settings. Yeah, that works as well. This is a very, very good sign. So now we need to go and see whether we can get Shadow installed on it. So we click on the Google Play Store. Let me just use Shadow app. We will have that there. There it is there. Let's see if I can install it. And now that's downloading. So we are downloading Shadow. The keyboard and mouse works for this box. We're downloading Shadow. I'm going to install Shadow and we will take it from there. This is a good start up to now. I'm, I'm really happy. <laughs> I'll be surprised. 4K, we will see. Okay, hang on. So now I'm getting open. Let's have a little look. We will open Shadow. So now we're, we're met with the normal login screen. For any of you people who use Shadow or is waiting in Shadow, you're met with a screen like this. I'm going to log in and then we'll have a little look to see what we find when I log in now. Okay. So now I've been connected, I'm really surprised at this. It's all booted up. I've, I've, um, what's happened is I put my, my login details. It asked for a referral code. I put my referral code in. Right now, everything seems to be working really well. So if I continue, there's my games. They've loaded up there. Now, as you can see in the corner, I'm connected to Wi-Fi. It's five past four. You can see my mouse is connected. Now, what I want to do is see will my pad show up if i plug it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to plug the pad into the usb 3 port in the side of this box and let's see oh i've got life on there and there we have now we have a controller showing up as live on the box does the controller actually do anything yet nothing as of yet but that doesn't mean that it won't work with games once we're in. Up to now, this is really easy. It's been too smooth. It's been really relaxing. <laughs> and normally we struggle with stuff like this. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of these Android boxes. But let's just see if when I go into it, I'm going to go into the desktop. We'll do a little bit more testing and we'll wrap it up to see what the final conclusion is or if there is any issues. Because this could be, in theory, 
a really good alternative to Shadow Ghost at the moment while we're waiting for new stocks. Because I'm waiting on a Shadow Ghost. I've been waiting for one since November. And this could be a nice little alternative to run on that. So give me a second. I'm going to log in and we'll wrap it up with final thoughts. Right, okay. Now, I've, I found my first snag. As you all well know, I was connecting the USB to the pad. When I've gone into any game, it doesn't recognize it. So then I connected the Bluetooth settings to the pad and it said the two pads were showing instead of only having one. So I've disconnected the USB. I've now Bluetoothed the pad and the pad now is working. So we've got, we've got keyboard and mouse, we've got pad. So what I wanna do now, I was gonna wrap it up. What I wanna do is hook it up to 55 inch 4k tv and i want to see what the res is like on it i want to put an ethernet cable in the back so we can have the full um 70 meg because right now all i've got is i'm running on a shorter version i'm only running on 34 because it's traveling over wi-fi i haven't set up a headset or anything yet so the plan is to see how we get on with it so next one i will definitely wrap it up i'm just going to hook it up to a different tv let's see how we get on Right, and this is it. It is hooked up to my 4K TV, and that is now playing 4K resolution. So I'm just going to round this up, wrap it up, should I say. Um, I'm really happy with this. I'm quite surprised, actually, because one of these you can get hold of on eBay, X88 Max Plus 4K 64 gigabytes for 39.99, And that's a 4K box which will run Shadow at 4K. And um, when you think about it, I'm actually, the TV that I'm, I'm running on here is a 4K, um, and that's also got a Sony Android built in. So I can actually have, I have actually got the Shadow app installed on that TV. And I just wanted for the purpose of this is, there's a lot of people out there that can't afford or, or just haven't got the resources to go out and get an Android TV. And you can go out, spend as little as 39.99, don't get me wrong, these boxes are brilliant. Don't expect wizardry from them. But if you're just looking for something cheap and simple to run Shadow on, it's a big thumbs up for me. You can plug the dongle in the side. That'll run your keyboard and mouse. If you can get one of them running, you can get your keyboard running. Um, the USB for the pad didn't work, but Bluetooth does. So the pad can be connected. And for me, for 40 quid, I'm even going to put a link in the description. For 40 quid, you can go out and you can get yourself one of these bad boys. You've seen how easy it is in, to install. And that's it. I'm giving me thumbs up. Um, it works and it works pretty well. I'm going to do some game testing now. And I might the next video I upload and record, I'm actually going to use this box to, um, to run it so you can see the quality of it. And yeah, I made up with it. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a like, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And um I'll see you in the next one.